Good day everyone, so hope you're doing really well. Do you think Shilonen is going to be better than Kazuo and replace him? Well, I personally think it's the most pointless discussion that the Genshin community has had in quite a while. I think a lot of people are just over-hyping Shilonen precisely because it's not about whether they both reduce resistance or give an elemental buff, it's about their archetype. It's about their character identities. Kazuha is a crowd controlling unit that can allow you to swirl multiple elements. In other words, he gives you an elemental aura that you can put onto the enemy and trigger elemental reactions on them and he also sucks the enemies in. This is something Shilonen doesn't do. The, the two aren't even comparable. What's more is that a lot of people seem to not understand what was shown in the live stream. For instance, with Shilonen, you have to get a maximum amount of Night Soul points just to get her buffs to be active. But here with Kazuha, instantly, I'm done. I can get my buffs on the field, swirl, get the Pyro or on the enemies, and just go. And I do think that from a competitive abyss, abyss perspective, if you save one millisecond by using Kazuha instead of having to awkwardly wait until your Night Soul points are maxed out, well then Shilonen's not really gonna replace Kazuha. In fact, I don't even think you'll use them in many of the same combat scenarios. So for instance, here in the background, you can see me constantly crowd controlling the enemy. And that is what Kazuha is so good at. He allowed me to juggle the enemy and then Bennett could follow up and so on and so forth. I could break the enemy's shields. If the enemy split apart, I can now start grouping them back in. You can't do this with Shilonen. Now, that is not to say that Shilonen will not have any advantages. In fact, I do imagine that there are a couple of combat scenarios where if you don't have enemies that can, that can be CC'd or they've got lots of like Geo Shields or Cryo Shields and stuff like that where you don't really get like good swirls or swirling is not really going to be helpful then Shilonen is going to be very very powerful or if you've got enemies that hit very very hard you see here in the background with all of these little trash mobs they generally don't hit hard but if you've got enemies that really are going to be punching your characters then the defense buff Shilonen gives if I read correctly on the live stream and the periodic healing from her elemental burst plus reading the resistance to some of your other characters characters taking the field that then makes beautiful sense and I think then you could then make the case that yeah here is a, a different combat scenario where she does a similar thing buff wise to Kazuha but she still has her own identity and that's how I see these characters each one of them has these different combat roles and obviously that's just how things are going to play out in the abyss ultimately from a pure hardcore speed running end game perspective it's not just about the buffs, but it's about how quickly you can get things on the field and how you can do millimeter like timings. And I'm just afraid that given Shilonen's activation conditions that it might just not be as fast. So for instance, if you remember the triple kinky that we had like in the first half in the abyss, there is the Kazuha trick with his E ability to get all of the enemies like grouped up and so on. But I'm not sure you'll be able to do the same with Shilonen. So even assuming she gives better buffs and all of that, the, the team that gets to the damage threshold first is the team that's going to get through the content faster. Um, and that is just from my perspective, well, A, what makes something meta is did you beat it faster if you're not going on the top end of the Genshin, like um, if you're playing in that league in the Genshin space. But from a more casual perspective, I think from an identity perspective, the two are very, very different. Shilonen gives you very, a lot of comfort in the overworld, especially now in Atlan with enemies that are far more powerful, that are far more like antagonistic. If you think of the triple Fatui that can easily break down your health, I think for a lot of casual players, just being able to scale walls, having an extra character that can heal you and provide a bit of defense, that really is going to be something that a lot of people will appreciate. And obviously that's utility that Kazuha is not going to provide you. But then again, why do we even need to compare Kazuha here? I mean, he, he, he's far more, it's far more akin to compare him to someone like Kenich in terms of the overall traversal and, and to other characters that are more airborne and so on. So from my perspective, just from a casual and from a purely like heavy, hardcore, endgame, super fast speedrun abyss perspective, 
I, I, I don't see any good reason why Shilonen will replace Kazuha. In fact, I do think that the two will be very, very complementary. You'll use the one on the one half, and for the Geo content, you'll use Shilonen on the other half. That's my prediction. That's what I've got to say. Thanks for watching.